I've decided to assume control of the company. My first official act, of course, is to say, You're fired! You're fired! You're fired! You're fired! <laughs> You're mad! <laughs> If you want a reference for work, forget it! If you want a reference for work, forget it! But my brains, and uh, you're, frankly, you're brawn, uh, the possibilities are absolutely staggering. You know, I, I could be president, emperor, king. President Emperor King. No, I, I could be president. No, I, I could be president. No, I, I could be president. Enter the stars and welcome to the Matrix. You can't make this stuff up. I don't know if these people are duplicating what is played out in the media. We know the people that run Hollywood and we know the ties that Trump has to those people. And here I've just shown you irrefutable evidence that seem to suggest that Trump is taking on the personality of this character, Lex Luthor. Now this goes even deeper. This entire movie, Superman 4, that came out in 1987, was all about weapons of, and we can't even say the word on YouTube, but you know what I'm talking about. And Superman basically goes through and takes away all the nuclear stuff. This was all going on with the Cold War. Russia was involved. Lex Luthor actually teams up with a Russian. And this Russian, the person that played him, Stanley Labor, just happened to die on the same date that JFK was assassinated. We had another character, the daughter of Warfield, which was the guy who took over the newspaper. The daughter, she was born on the date that JFK was assassinated. And finally, Warfield, the father of the woman, who, and this is the guy who took over the newspaper, the Daily Planet, he has the same birthday as Donald Trump. So what, what ends up happening in this film? Well, in the film, Warfield, which th think about what his name really represents, Warfield, right? War in the field. He loved all of this war mongering and war talk because it sold newspapers. And Lex Luthor wanted to profit off of war. That was his goal. This is why he wanted to create chaos by creating this nuclear man, which is Apollo. And I showed you how Trump's 66th floor apartment penthouse has the Apollo motif and the Apollo painting. Now, either we have stumbled upon some very deep spiritual things hiding just beneath the surface of this reality, or there is a concerted and very real effort to employ dark sorcery on all of us. And these people are players in all of it. Either way, this is information that the world needs to see. Take care and be safe, you guys.